you guys. Let's get situated here. Oh. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you're new, I'm Iman. Today's video is definitely a little bit different, very different than my usual videos if you're new. This is gonna be a really hard video to film. I've actually already filmed this like about four times. <laughs> this is round five. Hopefully this will be the winner. <sighs> so, the reason I am filming this video today is because the thought of filming another regular makeup tutorial acting like everything was okay just pretty much seemed impossible. I knew I had to kind of just get on here and talk to you guys and at least get this off my chest because things are not okay. And I was definitely having a really hard time deciding whether or not to shoot this, to share this because, you know, YouTube is my job. This is what I do for work. And when something bad happens in your personal life, if you're in a regular nine to five job, that doesn't mean that you stop going to work and you just stop showing up. No, you pull yourself together, you go in, you do your work, you leave, and then you go home and you cry by yourself. <laughs> YouTube is not a, a regular job. YouTube is very special. What makes it so special is that it's very personal. I am where I am now because of you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. You guys have watched me throughout the years. You guys have followed me for a long time. And just the thought of going through this really hard time in my life right now and not talking about it with you guys and just pretending like everything is okay just didn't make sense and it seemed pretty much impossible to do. So, <clears throat> as I'm sure you guys have already guessed, because you guys are super, super perceptive, and a lot of you have been DMing me on Instagram and asking me, <clears throat> Alex and I are no longer together. This is all pretty new, um, it's still fresh, and things have been going on, but it being official is really new. And I guess I should start by saying, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> Alex was my boyfriend, so this is a story about a breakup and I know breakups happen all the time but when you're in it it generally feels like the end of the world one of the reasons I decided to share this experience is because I never thought I would be here right now Alex and I have been together for three years over three years He was the one for me and um, I knew I knew that we were gonna have a very, very, very long future together. He was my future. He was my partner, he was my best friend, he was my family. And I never thought I would be sitting here having this conversation with you guys. But I know that I'm not the only one who goes through these extreme relationships. Obviously, this is very common. <laughs> I know I'm not the first person to go through something like this. But I think it could be very helpful for someone who is maybe going through something like this to watch this and see this experience. And I think, I'm, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to share as much of this entire experience with you guys. 
right now I am at a point where I'm very lost, I'm very confused, I have no idea what I'm going to do with myself. I'm in the apartment by myself now because he moved out. Um, you know, just even thinking about spending the holidays by myself and like spending New Year's by myself and starting the New Year's on my own. And I never in a million years thought I would be ending this year without him in the picture. So I'm just trying to figure out how to deal with all of this, how to deal with the fact that this person that was a part of every moment of my life, every single day, how I shared everything with him, and now, like, that's gone. So, um, I guess I'm just trying to figure out how to deal with it. And it's not easy, obviously, it's very, very hard. But hopefully, you know, a month from now or three months from now, I'll be in a better place. And if sharing this experience and showing my progression can help someone who's going through the same thing, I think that could be a great thing. And that's why I'm doing this video. And that's why I think I'm gonna talk about this entire experience. Because this is, happens a lot. This happens a lot to a lot of people. And it's one of the hardest things to go through. Being in a relationship with someone and loving someone so much and for whatever reason, that goes away. You could really just be left feeling so lost and so helpless and it's very easy to come down on yourself and I think you go through phases. I think right now I'm going through the morning phase, you know, going through like every single picture and every single video on my phone, um, old pictures and videos of us and crying uncontrollably every single day. And I'm also going through the confusion phase. How did this happen? How did we get here? What went wrong? What did I do wrong? And just replaying that over and over and over and over and over in my head. When you have a situation where one person wants to do everything they can to try and make a relationship work and the other person doesn't feel the same way, you can't help but sit there and think, why am I not good enough? What did I do? Why, why does this person not feel the same way about me anymore? Why, what, what did I do to, what did I do to change how they feel? You know, like those are the thoughts that it's kind of hard not to think that's that stuff. Um, so that's what I'm going through right now. That's the phase I'm in. <laughs> I think it would be great if the comment section for this video and any of these videos moving forward is just a place where we can just talk about different things in regards of relationships. I'm definitely not doing this video for pity comments. I'm asking you guys that you don't leave those type of comments, the you're too good for him, he's not good enough for you, you'll better up without him. That's not what this is about. You know, um, I'll at, the, at the end of the day, Alex is amazing. He's the best person I know, he's the best man I know. I've never ever met anyone like him before and that's why I was with him. So that's not what this is about. This is more about sharing experiences and helping girls, women who are going through this. And honestly, fuck the guys right now. <laughs> Cause I don't give a shit about any guy right now. <laughs> and I genuinely feel that girls and women are so much stronger than men. So much stronger emotionally, 
mentally like it's insane how much more strength we have when it comes to dealing with things head on and not running away from them and actually just dealing with them and putting in the work and doing whatever it is we need to do to make things work and just getting them done and guys are not like that they just can't deal guys just can't deal period guys have a very very hard time dealing with difficult emotional stuff that's just the way it is so let's talk about that <laughs> let's talk about the fact that guys suck sometimes <laughs> no let's not talk about that this is not like a man bashing thing that is not what that what this is about that's probably going to be my next phase the i hate men phase <laughs> i'm not there just quite yet but um i think there definitely goes to say something for the strength of a woman and a female compared to men when it comes to dealing with really difficult situations so my channel is going to look a little bit different for the next month for december it's going to look a lot different than it usually does you guys are still gonna get the makeup tutorials from me. Um, I have a couple of really cool looks coming up. Um, holiday looks that you guys are gonna love. I'm also shooting a bunch of collabs because one of the things that I really wanted to do, which is just the perfect timing, is just connect with other girls in the beauty space and I'm shooting a bunch of really cool videos cool collabs with some really cool YouTube girls that I can't wait for you guys to see these videos and I hope you guys support them because they're going to be great the collabs don't always do great on my channel but I hope you guys support them because they they're gonna be a little bit different and I think you guys will enjoy them there we go. That's my pitch. <laughs> um, so stay tuned for a lot of collabs that will all be coming out this month and the makeup tutorials. And then I'm going to mix in these videos. I don't know exactly how these videos are going to play out. I don't know if I'm going to post one a week or one a day. I don't know. I think I'm just going to try to be as open as I can with you guys about this experience. So if something happens on a certain day and I feel like I need to share it with you, I'm just gonna turn on the camera and film. It might be just like this, one-on-one, -on -one, straight to the camera, or it might be me talking to you guys during a tutorial. I'm really, really not sure, but just expect something a little bit different for the month of December, going into January maybe. Um, different posting schedule. I usually post two videos a week. You guys might see a lot more videos, like maybe back to back daily videos. I don't know. It really just kind of depends on how I'm feeling and what's going on. Right now, I'm pretty much an emotional wreck. I ate an entire box of chocolate. <laughs> I had an entire pizza yesterday and an, a huge piece of friggin' garlic bread thing and huge plate of pasta, like this. <laughs> I'm definitely an emotional eater, for sure, because I do not normally eat like that. You guys know I eat very healthy and I work out all the time. I haven't been working out and I've been stuffing my face. Um, and I've been having a very, very hard time getting myself putting myself together together so the thought of like sitting and putting all this makeup on is just like the last thing I want to do right now and I really hope you guys understand that you know my channel's always been about working on building your confidence from your outer beauty hopefully these videos will be how to build your confidence from inside and when you go through something like this, where where something is kind of just torn away from you, your confidence can be really, really shot and really broken. And it takes a lot to build it back up. So hopefully this is what that process will do. 
Um, yeah, and there's just like a lot of things going through my head, you know, like the thought of all these plans I had, all these plans and, you know, like, I'm going to get into more details about why Alex and I split in the next videos. I don't really want to get into that right now because there are important things that I want to talk about, um, but it's a bit more in depth. You guys know that he was gone for a month in London and I was supposed to go, stuff happened, I didn't end up going and we didn't really talk for a month. And when he got back, I was hoping that, you know, we would kind of reconnect, get ready for the holidays, decorate the apartment together, you know, do fun holiday stuff, like go see the Christmas lights and go get hot chocolate and just all that stuff. And That didn't end up happening and that's not going to happen. So I'm feeling really alone right now and I'm trying to kind of not drown in this feeling. To just pull myself up somehow. It definitely doesn't make it any easier that He's all over social media. Remember back in the day when you used to break up with someone and the, before social media, you guys would break up and you would never know what's going on with them because you can't see it anywhere? God, I wish that was still the case. <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, because seeing their face everywhere sucks and it makes it so much harder. And that's something that people have to deal with now, you know, like obviously like our situation is even worse because he's on YouTube and he's on Instagram. So yeah, that makes it worse. But there's so many exciting things happening. I have two huge things coming out in January that I've been dying to share with you guys, but they have me on lockdown. Hopefully I'll be able to share one of them this month, a little bit sooner than I thought. And th these are a big deal. Like these are no joke. <laughs> these things are no joke. You guys are going to see, you're going to be like, that's amazing. Um, so uh, there's a lot of really exciting things, but you know, typical. I feel like anytime a girl is successful in her career, most likely her relationship is falling apart. And I feel like that's definitely what's happened. So I know that, um, oh God. I'm so tired of crying. I feel like I have no energy. Alex and I loved each other very, very, very much. I know that for a fact. I don't doubt that for a second. And I know he still loves me very much. And I, without a doubt, I have more love for him than I've ever had. But, you know, a lot of things happened and a lot of mistakes were made. And we just didn't want to deal with them the same way. It's such a crazy feeling to have the person that you care the most about in the whole entire world, that you share everything with, that you laugh with and talk with and celebrate with and have fun with and go out with and just everything. I'm just having a hard time wrapping my mind around not having <laughs> that person to do all those things with anymore. I just want to say thank you for hearing me out and I really appreciate you guys. If you watch this video and if you watch the rest, I appreciate you going 
through this experience with me and being understanding. And um, I really hope that something positive comes out of this. And I appreciate your patience for the next month or so as I kind of just get back on track. And I, the only thing I can really do is to promise to just be as open and transparent with you guys as possible. And hopefully some positivity will come out of this. <sighs> wow, I did it. All right, I'll see you guys soon.